Tal vez reconocerán la figura que tengo a mi espalda. Es el toro que se encuentra en Nueva York. Ustedes lo reconocerán en algunas películas como Hitch, especialista en seducción. Y sí, estamos desde Nueva York para hacerles el especial, el close-up a búsqueda implacable o Take and Dogs. Acompáñenme. What are you going to do? What I do best. Señores de La Lata, bienvenidos. Estamos desde Nueva York con Liam Neeson. Liam, nice to meet you. Welcome nice to La Lata. You. Thank you. Y también estamos con Famka Ellen, hermosísima. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. I want you to go inside. Okay, Brian, will you tell me what's Listen going on? Listen to me. Tell me what's Listen, going on. I need you to focus. Tenemos una mujer espectacularmente hermosa. Se llama Maggie. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Y también estamos con Olivia, que es el director de esta película. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Olivia has a little tiny swivel stool that attaches to the passenger side. Taken Two is a is a family movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it's about it's a family movie. It's about uh, it's about a family uh, being taken into hell, you know, suddenly. So. Uh, That's exactly what we what we managed to, to do. It's not a, only an action movie. It's uh, you know it's uh, it's a lot of things. Basically, uh, the family goes on a trip to Istanbul. They're still kind of recovering from the events of the first film, and uh, it's it's driven by a vendetta, by revenge. The the same bad guys from the first one are uh, out to kill. Uh, Taken Two um, starts where Taken t uh, left uh, um, left off the last time, but now we find ourselves in Istanbul, uh, where the family is reunited for specific reasons, and um, somebody gets taken. Yeah. <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> It's a good, fast-paced thriller. <laughs> okay. With, with a lot of heart, I think. And you make to to the crowd that that wondering. What if they, they are in that situation? How far does they going to be? I think that if you're in, this, in such situation, uh, everybody can react. But uh, if anybody could, uh, I've got two sons, and if anybody could, uh, I could imagine that anybody uh, would uh, take them or whatever. I, sh I think it could be very, very bad too. So, uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, it, the problem is that this guy is from an XCIA agent, and uh, this guy is, uh, Yeah, he has a lot of skills and so on, but uh, the success of the first one was uh, because he was looking normal, you know. He looks like uh, the father next door. I really try to be more creative. We all have to uh, to help each other, and and my characters definitely a bit more strong in this yeah. one which I'm really yeah, happy about. Yeah, in the first yeah. movie, your uh, your character is kind of a victim, but mm -hmm. now it's kind of a hero. Yeah, she has, action hero. she has her action hero moments. She's still the same character. She's uh, she's also her father's daughter though and does have a she's her father's daughter and does have a bit of metal and uh, just not perhaps his particular set of skills. <laughs> Where is she? We are so fans of your work. No, I mean, you. you're a legend, you're a master of, of Jedi, you're a master of Batman, you're, you're everything. Everybody wants to be like Liam Neeson. You think so? Yeah, you, you have a lot of fans, you, you have become an, an icon of Hollywood. How do you, does that feel? Oh, well, I'm not sure about an icon, but uh, <laughs> certainly with the success of Take'em, they seem to have, uh, Hollywood seems to have uh, redefined me as an action actor, you know? Exactly. So it's it's good. I enjoy doing it. <laughs> Some of the fans told me that I, I don't know if it's a good thing for him, but somebody told me that it's the new Chuck Norris. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If it's they're not they're good. very different. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, different styles. <laughs> different styles, but definitely uh, definitely an imposing presence. What about the Liam ne work with Liam Neeson? That yeah. it's becoming a, in an icon of Hollywood. Yes, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Uh, I, I love how he's reinvented himself completely, you know, and I think that's something that people in Hollywood need to do. There's a lot of competition and 
if if you don't take a, you know, if it's not you, it'll. So there's 20 million other people who want to do what you do. So the fact that he, at his age now, has become an action star is inspirational. I mean, anything can happen. I have to bring him on back. He's like built for action films, and and nobody like found out until recently. I'm I'm so happy. Like. It's, there is something about him that's really, I think, substantial. Like, there's such a, such substance in just his his gaze, even. And also, he's, you know, six foot, God knows what. <laughs> he's enormous, so he's certainly an imposing presence. But um, I, I really cracked up. I saw someone sent me, there was like a, a Facebook thing where it's like a stare down with Liam Neeson. It's like, Liam Neeson will stare you down for 10 hours. Can you handle it? <laughs> and it was like, that's so it. It's just, you know, he's got this sort of, you know, Davidas. It's amazing. Martial arts. My, martial arts. Yes. Do you use with the scent? I don't know if there's a name for it. It was a. a it was a particular style of fighting that our stunt coordinator, our French stunt coordinator. I've never shot a car chase this way before. It was really cool. You put your, your own style in this movie with the chasing, with the car chasing. That was epic. And, and driving a woman, that, I, I, that's not very common in scene. Yeah, but it's, we found solution. Each time you try to find solutions around the actors, because this is the, 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 the this is the point, you know. So we found this uh, top rider car, you know, with the the, the guy r r driving the car on the top of the car, and then you can you can let the the, the, the actors inside and the cameras and so on. They are free to do everything because there is a, a real stunt guy driving on the top. So we try to find everything and. Uh, and this, this, is, this is what I like to do in movies, try to not to find the best, for example, uh, technological thing, but to find the right response, the right answer to, uh, to, 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 uh, to a sequence. And that's what we, we, we found. We, we made this, uh, this car chase in the middle of, uh, of Istanbul with many people and so on, so we adapt everything. You know? <laughs> Did you enjoy it uh, to make that kind of scenes? Yeah, I, I really did, especially the stuff we shot on uh, the top of the Grand Bazaar, which you can see here uh -huh. in the background. Um, that was incredible. I mean, and I got to leap from building to building, and there's, I think, my favorite car chase I've ever seen in a movie through the, the streets of the old part of Istanbul. I'm not very comfortable on roller coaster rides and stuff like that, but and there was so there was a lot of uh, heavy stunt work in those cars, which are, are <laughs> a little bit scary. Of course, I'm you know I'm a woman. I want more strong, and I don't mean strong as in ooh butch fighting kind of strong. I mean strong as an interesting and and full fledged kind of characters for for female parts. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. <laughs> this is for Mexico. Say hi to Mexico. There's a lot of fans on Twitter and Facebook, YouTube. That's great. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. I'm very flattered. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Señores, nos vemos en el cine. Yo soy Alex Montiel. Pasen la chido. Bye.